Hey folks, Marty Nowicki with Impact Snap. Today we're going to talk about the role of the legs for both chip shots, pitch shots, and full swings. What should they look like for each of those swings? How different are they going to be? So if we start with shorter swings, kind of a simple system that I've come up with for chipping, ball position forward, swivel the toes, kind of lean past the ball, weaker left hand grip. I like having people take their trail hand and actually touch their lead knee. What that does is it gets the spine tilted past the ball slightly. And from here, my legs really aren't gonna do much if I'm just off the green playing a little bump and run. They'll keep me balanced, but they're really not going to be turning until I need a little more distance. So now I'm further off the green. I still like the ball position forward. I'll have a little bit of turn forward. I want to hit it a little further, so that means I'm going to draw the club back further. But now I'm going to add some turn of the knees, pelvis, and chest for the sole purpose of being able to hit the ball the desired distance. So I've set up our simulator range where I've got a 100 yard target, but for this, I only, I'm only gonna be hitting a 50 or 60 yard shot. When you, if you have access to working um, indoors with a launch monitor, pay close attention to the carry distance that you're hitting it. I happen to have a pitching wedge for this. This is gonna be about a 60 yard shot. Now as I transition into a bigger swing, I'm now going to start with a more square stance. Personal preference, I just like playing most balls uh, forward in my stance. My legs are going to have a mini turn to about first parallel. Then from here, I'm going to actively turn the pelvis, turn the knees to complete my backswing. Transition-wise, now I'm going to turn this the other direction, starting the downswing, which I think is going to be a very uh, important move as we want to hit it further and further. So I wouldn't want to get here and start swinging the arms too soon. I want to make sure that the knees and pelvis actually start the transition. Carry 132. As you're working on your golf swing, I encourage people uh, to film themselves. If you have a mirror, that would be great also. As I transition from backswing to top to downswing, have a reference when the club is at parallel to the ground or when the left arm is parallel to the ground, either in the backswing or the downswing. Pay attention to where are the knees, where are the pelvis, where's the chest, at all of those checkpoints, noting that there's a tremendous difference between first parallel in the backswing and parallel to the ground in the downswing. That transition move. I'd like to see the knees, once the club goes above parallel to the ground, the pelvis knees, they're gonna turn about 40 to 45 degrees ideally. If that requires the left heel or lead heel to come off the ground in order to accomplish that, then great. Because that's going to help me to make a sufficient enough turn to get the distance required. Transition wise, like to see the knees, pelvis, chest really turning. Get a second club for this. 
transition wise, I like to see the knees, pelvis, and chest actually move together. This is important. Pay attention if you film yourself. Make sure that if that's happening, that the two sticks travel about near the same rate and have an awareness that if you're doing that, that the arms and club don't go outside too much. That action should lead to the club falling or shallowing. So that as I transition, I can still attack from the inside. I hope this video helped. I hope it cleared up some ideas you have about the role of the legs for both the chip shot, pitch shot, and full swing. Just note that there are two types, I believe, of turn. One turn would be so that I can maintain my radius. So I'm not really, per se, digging in, going for power um, with a lot of wedge turns. I'm, I am turning so that I can maintain this radius for a longer period of time. As I transition into a bigger swing, that's when I will see a little more increase in the pressure of the ground, a little more active movement of the knees and pelvis. And I'm turning more aggressively so that I can ultimately get my chest to turn with more speed. That's really one of the keys to distance. For Impact Snap, I'm Marty Nowicki. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Leave your comments down below. That helps us to create more content for you.